Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to CPHS 6. I am DJ Palm here to bring you some high school basketball action between your visiting Anchor Bay Tars and your home Port Huron Northern Huskies. Huskies looking for their fourth win on the season. Anchor Bay comes into Port Huron with an overall record of five and seven. And we are just about to get underway here for tip off and we are off. Anchor Bay, they'll win the tip off and Tino DeJesus will start the play. Motioning people around. He'll get it down low into the paint and it's gonna be Jack O'Shea putting one up and he'll miss, gets his own board and he'll put it back up, won't get the roll. End up going to the line for Anchor Bay's first point opportunity here at the charity stripe. The foul will be on Andrew Surfus, his first. As Anchor Bay, they will make the first three throw. Jack O'Shea scoring the first point of the game for the Tars. Puts it up in and out. And it'll be Tanton Elliott with the rebound. Lucas Opliger at half court. Drives to the right, he'll dump it back to Jared Welsh. Welsh looking to set things up. Gets a screen from Sufis. Ball gets turned over, Tars coming back the other way. Here's to Jesus, into the paint. Now back up to the point, or correction, I'm sorry, the three point arc. And it's gonna be Marshall Carter with the ball for a second. Tino DeJesus, he'll set things back up. Here's Carter again. Up along the corner. It'll be Isaiah Walker funneling around back to Tino DeJesus. DeJesus, he'll put up a prayer, and that's going to come off the mark. Aaron Martindale the other way. Huskies will slow things down and set things up. Elliott with the ball. He'll put it in the corner to Martindale. Martindale taking in the paint, puts one up, can't get the roll. And it's gonna be Jack O'Shea with the rebound for the Tars. Here's Tino DeJesus. He'll give it into the corner to Isaiah Walker. Walker, he'll turn it over, Huskies back the other way. Here comes Jared Welsh, looking to take it himself, and it's gonna be a blocking foul on the Tars. And it's number 10, Isaiah Walker for the Tars. He'll be called for his first foul. Not on the shot, Huskies will inbound the ball underneath the hoop. And they'll get it up top to Lucas Opliger. Opliger now in the corner. Sends it over to Welsh who misses the three. And it's gonna be an offensive foul. And Tars ball. Jesus will set things up. Up at the top of the key, back to DeJesus in the corner. Now here's Marshall Carter. No basket's gonna be red ball. Gonna be a foul on, looks like Jared Welsh. It'll be his first. Tars will inbound at the corner. Now at the stripe, it's going to be for two for the Tars. Jack O'Shea just missed. Now Opliger back the other way. Looking to drive, kicks it out to Jared Welsh. Here's Welsh now. Over the top of the three-point, Aaron pass from Andrew Sufis. Here come the Tars back the other way. It looks like Isaiah Walker, a little bit too aggressive. He'll get called for a charge. And the Huskies will have the ball with 540 here in the first period, just underway. Only score of this game was a Jack O'Shea free throw, it's one nothing. Huskies turn the ball over again. Here's Carter, looking to do some damage. Penetrates inside, gets the roll. Opliger looking to set things up. We'll find Welsh, Welsh getting it down low. Back to Opliger, Welsh will put up a three. In and out. And Atars will rebound, Tino DeJesus with some speed, looking to penetrate in the paint, puts up a shot, absolutely swatted by Welsh. Here comes Tars back, ball's popping up in the air. And Marshall Carter will set it down. Here's O'Shea, up to the top of the key. Now to Tino DeJesus. Back up to Walker, back down low to Jack O'Shea, puts it up off the glass and in. Five-nothing run for the Tars to start this game half, almost halfway through the first 
first quarter. Here's Tant and Elliott over to Welsh. Welsh looking to set things up. He'll find Elliott in the corner, almost lost it, able to get it back. And here's Martindale now. The pass came right back to him off of the Anchor Bay tar arm. Here's a three for the Huskies. That's going to be off the mark. And it's going to be Isaiah Walker for the Tars with the rebound. Dino DeJesus setting things up for the Tars again. Here comes Isaiah Walker. He'll kick it back out to Marshall Carter. Back up to Walker now, back over to DeJesus. Marshall Carter now with the ball. Penetrates in the paint, able to get a good roll. And Brian Jamison going to take a timeout here. It's not the best start for the Huskies. Tars on a 7-0 run here to start the first quarter. 3.48 left to go here, first quarter, 7-0, Anchor Bay Tars. Huskies having trouble penetrating in the paint, trying to get the easy baskets. Some turnovers have not gone their way. Brian Jameson trying to settle his team down right now. Lee's put some points on the board. Good timeout. Things look like they were getting a little bit out of hand. It'll be Northern's ball, the inbound. Tant and Elliott. He'll be on the baseline looking to inbound to Opliger. Opliger will walk it up. Huskies need to score some points here. Here's Elliott. Back up top to Opliger. Look for the three. Nice pass down low to Welsh, and he will at least get to the line with a chance for the Huskies' first points of the game. Good pass, good recognition there by Appleger. Sends Jared Welsh to the line. Here's the first, that's good. Huskies' first points of the game. 3.31 left to go here in the first quarter. Three team fouls each. Welsh puts up the second, gets it to go. Tino to Jesus. He'll set it up for the Tars. Gonna pass the ball, finally does, finds Marshall Carter. Now back up to DeJesus as he spins around. Turnover now, Welsh, he'll take the ball, looking to go all the way, and he'll get fouled again and sent to the line. athleticism there by Jared Welsh, able to get the turnover. Would have liked to have cashed that in for an and one, but nevertheless, he'll shoot two. Gets it to go, first one. Jacob Williams and Alex Lubbers into the game for the Huskies now along with Thomas Dato. Welsh gets the second one to fall. 7-4, Anchor Bay Tires. Three minutes left to go here, first quarter. Here in the corner now, it's Zach Schill. Schill, sorry. Back over to DeJesus. Nice bounce pants over to Schill. He'll put up a tray. Good offensive board there. Looks like it's gonna be an over the back though. On Jack O'Shea, it'll be Huskies ball going the other way. Opliger, he'll carry it up for the Huskies. Leaves it over for Welsh. Swung back over to Dato. Dato, up top at the key, lost it. Was Jacob Williams able to get it back though? 
Up top to Welsh, nice pass down low. Kicks it back out to Dato. Dato back up top to Welsh for three, and it's money! That'll tie the game at seven with 2.10 left to go here in the first quarter. Huskies answer with a 7-0 run of their own. Here's to Jesus. Over to Carter. In the corner, gonna get double teamed for the Tars is Zach Scheel. And he'll step out of bounds. It'll be Huskies ball. Williams, he'll inbound to Opliger as he carries it up. 7-7 tie game, just under two to go here in the first quarter. Over to Welsh, puts up a rainbow and gets it to go. Huskies now up three. To Jesus, setting things up again for the Tars. Over to Shield. He'll dribble it back almost to half court. Emmy now cross court. Over to O'Shea. He'll find Shield in the corner. That hits the front of the rim. Now Emmy offensive board there for the Tars. Now DeJesus puts one up. That'll roll off the back in front of the rim. And Welsh will carry it up for the Huskies. Minute 10 left to go, first quarter, 10-7. Opliger puts up another three. And the Tars will rebound. Jack O'Shea, he'll find DeJesus with some speed. Penetrates inside, puts it up. Rebound, Tars, or did it go out of bounds? It did, it'll be Husky ball. Just under a minute left to go here, first quarter. And Oppliger will set things up on the offense for the Huskies. Anchor Bay playing some zone. Here's Dato, back up to Oppliger in the corner. Back up top for Welsh, puts up another one. That's gonna be off the side of the rim. Good board there by Jacob Williams. Back over to Welsh. Still can't get it to go as Anchor Bay brings it the other way. Here's to Jesus. Over in the corner. Vermander. He'll find O'Shea back to Vermander. Look to pass back over to DeJesus. Now he does, or to Jesus rather. That is how he pronounces it. Here's Emmy over to O'Shea. Finds DeJesus up top. That's going to go off his foot, and the Tars are able to save it. Very close on the line. Here's Shiel. He'll put one up, and that's air ball. And time will run out here for the end of the first quarter. Huskies with a 10-7 lead. As it looked like it was gonna get out of hand early, Anchor Bay went on a seven nothing run to start. And the Huskies have answered right back with 10 straight points. I believe all 10 points have been scored by Jared Welsh. Two threes and four free throws. And it ends up being a three-point lead for the Huskies here going into the second quarter. CPHS Channel 6, I'm DJ Palm. How's it going, everybody at home? As you just heard, Tars opened up on a 7-0 run, and Huskies answer right back with 10 straight points. Not sure of all, but definitely the majority have come from Jared Welsh from the free throw line and the three-point line. Really good time out there by Brian Jamison in that first quarter. Their anchor Bay scored their seventh point. Able to settle his team down and answer with 10 straight points. Williams will inbound to Opliger. Start of the second quarter, Huskies up three. Here's Opliger now, over to Dato. Dato in the corner looking to pass. He'll kick it back out to Opliger, back over to Dato in the corner. Tars playing 2-3 zone, it looks like, and Huskies are trying to swing that ball around and get Tars out of position. Trying to draw a double team somehow. Here's Opliger in the corner, looks to drive to the paint, almost lost it, still regained control. Here's Williams for three, off the back of the rim, and it'll be O'Shea with the rebound for the Tars.
Here's Vermander. Over in the corner for Emmy. Puts up a three. Good rebound, O'Shea, and he'll put it back up and in. That'll stop a 10-0 Huskies run. As the Tars now only down a point. One minute played here in this second quarter. 10-9 Huskies. Here's Dato. On the wing, looking for somewhere to go. He'll find Welsh. Welsh faked the three, able to get it over for Alex Lovers. Back over to Opliger, and that's gonna be a Anchor Bay ball. <laughs> Checking in now for the Huskies, Tanton Elliott, he'll come back in the game. Checking in for the Tars, Alex Wader, number 12. Another substitution, Jesus is out of the game, or he'll be coming out of the game. Isaiah Walker back in. Here's Vermander. Over to Walker. Errant pass just a little bit too high for Alec Wader. And it will be Huskies ball. Elliott now setting things up. Dribbles over to the wing. Looking to find Dato in the corner, nothing doing. Now Dato will have it in the corner. Dato looking to fight off the double team. He'll find Welsh. Welsh over to Williams, puts up a three. That's going to be off the back of the rim and up. Tars will get the rebound. Here's Vermander for the Tars. Crossing half court, Dato on him. Looking to penetrate, kicks it out to O'Shea. Tried to go up and under, nothing doing. Huskies back the other way and in a hurry. Here's Welsh. Tried a bounce pass, went off the foot of a tar, and that's going to be. It's going to be a foul, looks like, on Alex Lovers. Huskies' fifth foul. Tars have four. 10 9. Husky lead with five and three quarters here left to go in the second quarter. Here's Marshall Carter. He'll put one up at the free throw line and gets it to go. Tars now out to a one point lead. Five and a half left to go here, second quarter. Here's Jacob Williams setting things up. Tars sticking to that two, three zone. Welsh in the corner. Lobs one up to Dato. Set things back up here. Here's Elliott, down low for Alex Lovers, couldn't get it to fall. And it's gonna be Tar ball. Another foul to number 34, Alex Lovers. It'll be his second. Both teams with two turnovers each. Or correction, I'm sorry, that was Northern's third. Offensive rebounds. Tars have three, Huskies only one. One point lead here for the Tars, just under five go here in the second. Here's Carter, down low to O'Shea, nice pass. Behind the back, able to get it to fall, three point Tar lead. Here's Dato, had to hold up, almost had it swatted. Now he's gonna look for the open man as he's double teamed. And he'll find him, it's Jack Trimble. Pass from Martindale, that got tipped by Carter. He'll take it the other way, and we may have a travel here. Yes, we do. Husky ball with a three-point tar lead. Four and a half here left to go in the second period. Opliger back into the game as he checks in. Setting things up here on the offense. Gets a screen from Vassbinder. Across the court, onto the corner. Or into the wing, rather. Now back up for Tanton Elliott. Elliott over for Opliger. Martindale put one up off the back of the rim. Vassbender couldn't grab the rebound, but it'll stay Husky ball as the Tars were to touch it last. It'll be Trimble inbounding. Back across half court for Opliger. He'll carry it back in. Here's Martindale. Over in the corner now, Opliger, he'll put up a three. That's gonna be short, and O'Shea the rebound. He'll slow things down. 
Good pass. Tars will put it up and in. Alec Waiter, assisted from Jack O'Shea. Five point tar lead now with 340 left to go here in the second quarter. Out of the wing for Martindale. Carries it up to the top of the key. He'll find Oppliger cross court for Elliott. Back down low for Martindale. Back to Elliott. Now up to Oppliger in the corner. Put it up, and that's not going to hit rim. But Martindale will get it back. Puts it up, and he'll get fouled. So he'll shoot two at the line. Aaron Martindale. Foul on number 12, Alec Waiter for the Tars. That'll be the Tars' fifth team foul as they're up five. Martindale at the line. First one won't go. Checking in for the Tars now, number 23, Alex Hamilton. Six foot two senior. Martindale second, gets that to fall. And it'll be a four point tar lead as De Jesus, or De Jesus rather, checks back into the game. He'll carry it up and set things up for the Tars, able to penetrate and get the rolling in. Six point lead for the Tars, Opliger. He'll carry it back up. Looking to make a move, does, almost loses the ball. Vassbinder able to find it, puts it up, just can't get it to roll. O'Shea, another rebound for the Tars. Here's to Jesus. he's got some speed, looking to penetrate again, Oppliger, good D. And it looks like it's gonna be a reach in foul on Oppliger. It'll be Tar's ball at half court. Actually, never mind, that foul, that'll put the Anchor Bay Tars in the bonus. As that's Oppliger's seventh, second foul. Jesus will get that first free throw to go, extending the Tars lead to seven. 2.40 left to go here, second quarter. Jesus puts up a second, he'll get it to go. Tars now lead by eight. Pass from Trimble, just a second too late going over to Sufis. And the Tars will knock it out of bounds. It'll remain Husky ball. As well, she'll inbound. Over to Oppliger as he carries across half court. He'll find Welsh again. Welsh looking to penetrate. Jump step, won't eight, not able to get the shot to fall, and to Jesus will rebound. Carry it back up, looking to penetrate again. Definitely got some speed at the point guard position. Kicks it out over for Carter. Carter back up to DeJesus at the top of the key. Over to the side to Noah Gear, or Noah, Noah Gear rather. He'll put it up and won't get it to fall. Huskies coming back the other way. Down eight, under two to play here, second quarter. Welsh wide open for three, puts it up. Can't get the roll as DeJesus will come, in, come up with it for the Tars. He'll take it back and settle things down. Now loses it, Oppliger. Coming the other way, turnover for the Tars, and the Huskies will return the favor. It's Oppliger, that pass just a little bit too far in front of Jack Trimble. Minute and a half left to go here, second quarter. Tars still up eight. Northern looking to double team. Marshall Carter in the corner, 4-3, gets it to fall. And now the Tars up 11 as they are on a 15 to one run. Here's Welsh, over for Trimble. In the corner, number 22, Poyer, he'll lose it. And it's gonna be gear the other way, over for Carter, gets it to fall. Under a minute now left to go here, second quarter. Tars up 13, 24-11. Here's Welsh looking to penetrate, lost the ball. And 
And it's going to be Tar's ball. Gear will inbound it to Jesus. 45 ticks left to go here, second quarter. Here's Carter. And we got a traveling call, and they will turn the ball over. Huskies ball going the other way. Fourth turnover for the Tars as Northern has the same. And Welsh, he'll set up the offense now. Over for Trimble, back over to Welsh. Now over to Poyer, back up top to Welsh. 26 seconds left to go, second quarter, Tars up 13. Looks like the Huskies are holding for the second shot here, or the last shot, rather, with 15 seconds left to go. 24-11, Tar lead. Five ticks left to go. Kicks it out, and not sure if that touched the tar going out of bounds, and it doesn't. Apparently the other referee thought it did. It's gonna stay a Huskies ball with just about four seconds left to go before halftime. Sufis. He'll inbound. He'll find the number 22, Poirier. His shot was blocked. Tars put up a prayer from three-quarter length of the court. Not going to be able to go. And that'll do it for the end of the first half. The end of the second quarter. Tars have the lead here, up 24 to 11. We'll see you back here at CPHS 6 for the second half here in a moment. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here on CPHS 6, bringing you the second half of Husky basketball here against the Anchor Bay Tars. Tars are leading by 13, 24 to 11, as we're just underway here in the second half. Here now is Walker, up at the key, he'll find to Jesus, back down low for O'Shea. And that'll go in and out, Huskies rebound. Opliger now. Found Martindale who lost it. Looks like it's gonna be a jump ball. Possession arrow will be Huskies way as they'll retain possession. Inbound over to Martindale. Back up top to Opliger. Opliger looking for somewhere to go. Finds Welsh. Welsh now in the corner for Martindale. Looking for somewhere to go. Thought about getting it back up top to Matt Fox. And it's going to be behind Jared Welsh, who eventually travels. And it's going to be Anchor Bay ball. Here's Brian Jameson now, turning up the pressure. As he'll make his defense play full court. This definitely can cause turnovers. But you're weak down low, and there's what we want to see. Not able to get it across half court in time, and it'll be Husky ball, as that'll be the Tars' fifth turnover of the game. Here's Welsh now. He's had the hot hand in the first half, scoring the Huskies 10 of their 11 points. Here's Martindale now. Able to find Welsh, almost lost it. Good thing his teammate was right there behind him. Here's Martindale now. Makes a move, able to penetrate, just a little too soft off the glass. And here comes Carter the other way for the Tars. Martindale on him, penetrates down low, finds Shea, puts it up off the glass and in. 15 point lead here for the Tars. Here's Martindale, looking to penetrate the lane, lost the ball, able to bounce it to Welsh, has an alley, goes up and in, but able to bounce it off the glass, not able to get a roll. Carter the other way for the Tars. Martindale on him, able to find O'Shea who puts up a three, off the side of the rim, Welsh will rebound. He'll take it in with some speed. And that was Isaiah Walker trying to draw a charge, but nevertheless, it'll be Tars ball heading the other way. Here's to Jesus. Isaiah Walker, he'll put up a three. That's off the mark. Tantanelli at the rebound. 
He'll set things up. Over to Martindale on the wing. Cross court to Welsh. Bounce pants to Opliger. Looking to penetrate down low. De Jesus will steal it, and he'll head the other way with it. As he tries drawing a charge, won't get the foul, but he'll get the bucket. Five and a half left to go here, third quarter. 17 point lead here for the Anchor Bay Tars. Here's Opliger. He'll find Sufis at the free throw line. Over to Tanton Elliott, had it swatted, able to regain control. Get it over for Martindale. Finds Welsh, and that's gonna be a kickball. On Isaiah Walker, it'll stay Huskies ball with 5'10 left to go here, third quarter. 17 point lead for the Tars. Tanton Elliott, he'll find Welsh. Welsh rotating over to Williams. Here's Sufis, puts up a tray, not able to go. Pop fly in the air, and it'll be Isaiah Walker with the rebound. Now under five to go, third quarter. Husky's got to find a way to chip at this lead, and there's a way to do it. Fast break points here, looking for Welsh, and he'll hit the front of the rim. And it's going to be white ball. Or correction, I'm sorry, Husky ball. The referee thought it went off a of Tar's hand. And it'll be Elliott to rebound up top to Opliger. Opliger moving. He'll find Williams in the corner. Back over to Opliger, trying to find an open man. There's Welsh down low. Back to Williams. Back up top for Jared Welsh. Welsh over to Elliott. Elliott will find Opliger, puts it up and in for two. Lead back down to 15 now. With 4.05 here left to go in the third quarter. Huskies need some turnovers as they get another one there. Here's Opliger, fast break opportunity here, puts it up, gets the foul, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. Under the four minute mark now here, third quarter. First team foul for either team here in the second half. It'll go to the Tars. Despite six turnovers for Anchor Bay, they now st still have a 14 point lead here. 15 point lead correction. Checking in now for the Tars, Brendan Vermander. Opliger at the line. First shot didn't go. Here's a second, and he'll make it. Lead now down to 14. Let's see if the Huskies can chip away more at this lead. Over on the wing to Walker. Back to the wing to Walker from O'Shea. Over to Jesus penetrates in the paint, and that'll be another turnover for the Tars. As it will be Huskies ball with 3.40 to go here, third quarter. Anchor Bay to end the first half with a 17 point lead. Now down to 14 as the Huskies slowly chipping away. Here's Tanton Elliott for three. Oh, in and out. Would have been a great momentum boost there for the Huskies able to get that one to go, but nevertheless, it won't fall into Jesus. He'll set things up for the Tars. Penetrates to the free throw line, kicks it out. Here's Isaiah Walker for three. That's going to go off the rim, and the Huskies, they'll get the rebound. Tanton Elliott, here's Sufis. Back over to Sufis from Jacob Williams, and the Huskies will turn it over. Fifth Huskies turnover of the game. 28-14 Tar lead. Just under three minutes left to go here in the third quarter. There's a pass. Picked off by number 12, Andrew Sufis. Welsh almost had his pocket picked. Able to regain control. Now penetrates to the lane. And not going to be able to get the roll, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. Welsh with 10 of the Huskies, 14 points. Here in this game, 2.32 left to go here, third quarter. 
Foul will be on Isaiah Walker, his third. Team second. Welsh is first. Off the front of the rim. Checking in now for the Tars. Zach Scheel, number 21. And number 30, Austin Woodside. Here's Welsh's second. Able to get it to fall, lead now to 13. Tars will take it across half court. Here's Vermander. Tars put up a tray, and that's going to be no good as Welsh able to take it the other way, find some space, able to bounce it off the glass and roll in. Lead now down to 11 for the Tars as Bob Jolett here, the varsity coach of the Anchor Bay Tars, is going to call a timeout. Husky started this second half down 17. Now that lead's been cut to 11 with 2.08 left to go here, third quarter. Huskies still have yet to record a team foul in this second half. Coach Jameson looks like he's been making some pretty good halftime adjustments here. Anchor Bay scoreless so far here in the second half, but nevertheless, they have an 11 point lead with just over two minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Firm Ander to inbound for the Tars. He'll find to Jesus. Back over to Vermander. He'll put one up from the side. Not going to be able to get it to go. Huskies will rebound. Tanton Elliott, he'll find Opliger. Over to Sufis. Back up top to Welsh. Nice pass. Back over to Sufis and can't get the roll. And it'll be Alex Hamilton with the rebound for the Tars. Here comes to Jesus the other way. Back over to Hamilton. Over on the wing to DeJesus puts up a three. That's going to be airballed. And it's going to be Jack Trimble the other way. Or correction, I'm sorry, Jacob Williams. He'll get it back from Opliger. His pass kept in by DeJesus, and that'll be the Huskies' sixth turnover. Here's DeJesus. He'll find Shield. Lost the ball. And it's going to be jump ball. Possession arrow is going to favor the Tars, and they'll retain possession with an 11 point lead and 112 left to go here in the third quarter. Vermander to inbound. Elliott on him. Here's Hamilton. And it looks like Elliott's going to be called for a foul. So that'll send Alex Hamilton to the line to shoot two. Minute 10 left to go here, third quarter. Tar still have an 11 point lead. Here's Hamilton's first. Rims out. And he'll still have one more. Checking in now for the Huskies, Thomas Dato. And Aaron Martindale. Here's Hamilton second. He'll get it to go. 12 point Anchor Bay lead. Here's Welsh. He's had the hot hand all game. 10 of the Huskies, 17 points. Welsh now on the wing. Looking to set things up, find an open man. Now turns, spins, kisses it off the glass, gets the roll. 50 seconds left to go, third quarter. 17 point deficit to start the second half has now been cut to 10 by the Huskies. Welsh playing some D. Trying to swat that ball. It's Vermander. He'll find to Jesus. Vermander faked the shot, tried to dribble in. He'll get stopped. Kicks it back out for Woodside. Back up top to De Jesus. Yeah. 
18 ticks left to go here, third quarter. Here's Vermander, him and DeJesus playing catch, and that's gonna be a foul on number 24, Jared Welsh. That'll be his second. Correction, I'm sorry, that's his first foul. Team second this half. Here's Woodside, finds DeJesus. DeJesus, he'll put up a three, and that's gonna rim off the side. Rebound Aaron Martindale as he takes it back with speed, puts up up at the buzzer, and that just nicks the front of the rim. And that's gonna do it for the end of the third quarter. Tars a 17 point lead to start the second half, now down to 10. And a much more feasible deficit to overcome for the Huskies here going into this fourth quarter. Like the second half adjustments Brian Jamison has made. They've caused four Anchor Bay turnovers in that third quarter. Cutting that deficit by seven. I think if you're Brian Jamison here, you might want to put on a little full court for the first couple minutes of this quarter. See how many turnovers you can get, see how much you can chip away at this lead. If you're Anchor Bay, if you got that ball, hold on to it. Try and kill as much clock as you can. Get back on I-94 with a victory. <laughs> Teams make their way back onto the court to start the fourth quarter. Huskies down 10. It'll be Husky ball to start the fourth. Thomas Dato will inbound from half court. Here's Welsh. Over to Martindale. On the wing, up top for Trimble. Now back over for Dato, almost stepped out of bounds, able to keep the heel. Here's Welsh from downtown, able to get it to go. Huskies now down seven, as Jared Welsh absolutely on fire this game. Here's DeJesus, down low and picked off by Aaron Martindale. Good awareness there, as he's gonna take it into the paint, kiss it off the glass, and it just nicks the outside of the rim, not able to get it to go. 7.15 left to go, fourth quarter. Huskies now down seven after being down 17 to end the first half. Now another turnover here as Welsh able to pick it off. Almost stutter step travel. Dato able to keep it in bounds, or was he not? Nope. Ref said it'll be Tar's ball with just over seven minutes left to go here in the fourth quarter. Walker, he'll inbound to DeJesus as he takes it up the court. He'll set things up for the Tars, up seven. Good swat there by Martindale, unfortunately ran out of room. It'll be Tars ball still. Still a seven point lead. Both teams have two team fouls here in the second half. Here's Marshall Carter. Trying to work in the paint, does. Finds O'Shea, and he's got a little touch as he's able to get it to fall. Lead back up to nine for the Tars. Here's Welsh over to Martindale in the corner. Able to find, him, or trying to find Welsh down low. That'll tip a Tars hand out of bounds. It'll still be Huskies ball. Six and a half left to go, fourth quarter. Here's Martindale, up top for Welsh. Had the hot hand all game. Martindale able to screen off his man O'Shea to keep him from intercepting that pass. Here's Welsh now, nice move. Kinds Martindale, kicks it out for three, and it's gonna be an offensive board for Jack Trimble as he's able to retain possession but lost it. Uh, 
not sure what the call is on the floor. And it's going to be a technical foul against the bench. So that'll send Anchor Bay to the line. Isaiah Walker. He'll shoot two. Gets the first one to fall. Anchor Bay lead now back up to 10 with 6-11 left to go here in the fourth quarter. He'll get the second one to fall. 11 point lead now for the Tars. As they will have the ball. Into Jesus will set things up. Finds Carter on the wing, puts up a three. Rebound, Dado. He'll find Martindale, can take his time. He does, and he's able to get it to fall. Tar lead now back to single digits. Now nine. 5.50 left to go, fourth quarter. Husky slowly chipping away at this lead. Nice turnover there. And a lead pass for Martindale. Nice spin, kisses it off the glass. And in. Martindale coming alive in this second half. And the Huskies are back within seven as Bob Jolett will take another timeout. Five and a half left to go here, fourth quarter. 33-26, Anchor Bay lead. Okay, never mind, no timeout charge to Anchor Bay as it was an official timeout. And Anchor Bay will inbound the ball. Walker to inbound. Martindale playing some D. He's come up with some big turnovers here for his team in the second half. Everybody collapsing on the ball carrier. Here's Carter now, fakes the pass, and another turnover by the Tars, able to find Martindale again, and he kisses it off the glass again. Martindale, six straight points. Huskies chip away as the lead is now to five. Marshall Carter almost traveled. To Jesus, cross the court for Isaiah Walker. O'Shea will fake the shot. He'll lose it, but to Jesus will find it and take it back up top. Now under five to go. Fourth quarter, Tars had a 17-point lead to start the half. It is now down to five as to Jesus puts it up. Not able to get it to go. Hamilton the rebound, he can't get it to go, and it's gonna be Oppliger the other way. He finds Welsh, puts up a three, can't get it to fall, and it's gonna be an over the back call. Uh, number 12, Andrew Sufis, it'll be Tar's ball going the other way. 4.35 left to go, fourth quarter, in what looks to be a definite comeback effort for the Huskies. 14 foul for the Huskies as that went on Andrew Sufis. And the Tars will call a timeout. Brian Jamison definitely doing, or sorry, correction, Coach Jamison rather, definitely working some magic on that drawing board as the Huskies this second half have been able to cause some turnovers. Aaron Martindale, six straight points for the Huskies off turnovers. 17-point lead for the Tars to start the second half. Now down to five. Once again, I'm DJ Palm here on CPHS 6, bringing you fourth quarter action here of the Port Huron Northern Huskies against the Anchor Bay Tars. And this has been quite an exciting second half as the Huskies biting, fighting, and clawing their way back into this game. Bale inbound. Here's Vermander. Vermander looking for somewhere to go. Here's to Jesus. Had the ball poked by Martindale, but not able to cross the line in time. It's going to be Husky ball. Good 
Good dial up there defensively by Coach Brian Jamison. The Huskies now have the ball back down five. 4.15 left to go, fourth quarter, it's Opliger. He'll find Welsh. Welsh over to Aaron Martindale, puts up a prayer. That's gonna be off the side of the rim. And a Tars will rebound. Walker over to Vermander as he carries it up. Martindale on him. He's definitely been a nuisance for the Tars this second half. And the Tars now look like they're just gonna kill some clock. The Jesus Walker and Vermander all playing catch. Now they find O'Shea down low. And it's gonna be a foul, looks like, on Andrew Sufis. That'll be the team's fifth foul this second half. Sufis' third, third foul. As the Tars inbound to DeJesus. Over to Walker, Furmander now. Almost turned the ball back over. Martindale trying to find it. It goes out of bounds, it'll remain Tars' ball. Opliger, he'll get called for a shove. That'll be his, four, his third, rather. Six-team foul for the Huskies. Vermander to inbound. And another foul, it's gonna be on Andrew Sufis. And that's gonna send Alex Hamlin to the line to shoot two. Team seventh. 3.33 left to go here, fourth quarter. Tars looking to put this lead back up to seven. As Hamilton, he'll make his first. Now the second, he'll get that to go. Lead back up to seven for the Tars. Here's Opliger. Finds Welsh. Welsh up top for Tantanelli. Back over to Welsh. Welsh down low, finds Sufis. Down low for Martindale, and Tanner Elliott just can't get it to roll in. More chances for Tars now to chew some clock up. Tars now, good move there by Alex Hamilton, but he traveled, no basket, and it'll be Husky ball. Now three minutes left to go, fourth quarter. Huskies down seven after being down 17 to end the first half. Here's Opliger. Errant pass as that was to no one but Anchor Bay Tars and Jesus is gonna take it the other way. And I'm not sure if that foul is gonna be on Opliger or Tanton Elliott. 4-0, the ref says that's gonna be on Lucas Opliger. That'll now be his fourth. Now under three minutes to go. Anchor Bay looking to go up nine here to Jesus at the line to shoot two. Here's the first, gets it to fall. Here's the second, he'll get that to fall. Anchor Bay lead now to nine. 2.45 left to go in the fourth. Here's Welsh. Down low to Opliger, puts it up, can't get it to fall. O'Shea the rebound for the Tars. Here's DeJesus. Penetrates, able to find Vermander down low, can't hit it. Tanton Elliott the rebound, he'll find Opliger. Opliger finds Martindale down low, off the glass and in. And it'll be a timeout for the Huskies with 2.20 left to go here in the fourth, down seven. Definitely a good time out here by Bryant Jamison. Last time this happened, Huskies were able to manage a turnover to get the deficit within five as they're now down seven here with just over two minutes here left to go in the fourth. Eight team fouls for the Huskies. Two team fouls for the Tars. Jamison drawing up what he wants to see from his team on that Oakland University drawing board he's got down there. 
Like to see them cause a turnover here, keep chipping away at this lead, get it within one possession. Crunch time now. As the teams make their way back onto the court. Thomas Dato into the game for the Huskies. Vermander to inbound. They'll find O'Shea who finds Isaiah Walker. Walker now gonna be double teamed. And it looks like it's gonna be another foul on the Huskies. For a shove, it's gonna be on number 14, Aaron Martindale, his third. Anchor Bay now in the bonus. Checking in for the Huskies now, back into the game, Lucas Opliger. As Thomas Dato will take a seat. Here's Walker's first. And he'll miss. Here's Martindale pushing it up the court to Welsh. Nice spin move at the three-point line. Almost a turnover there by Walker, or correction, by Welsh. Another one to Jesus, almost found that. Here's Welsh for three downtown, and he hits it. Huskies within four. Two minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. Here's O'Shea, finds Furmander, who's got a wide open lane. Count it, and the foul. That's going to take some wind out of the sails after that three-pointer from Welsh. Furman Deer, he'll go to the line to shoot one. Looks like another timeout called by the Huskies. Checking in now for the Huskies, number 32, Jacob Williams. Tars now with a six point lead. Minute 49 left to go, fourth quarter. Furmander to shoot one. Got fouled on the shot and made it. Looking to put the lead back up to seven for the Tars. That's gonna be off the mark, rebounded by Tanton Elliott. They'll find Opliger, over to Welsh. Back over to Opliger, Tanton Elliott, now Martindale. He'll put up the three, that's gonna be off the mark, but he gets fouled, and he'll go to the line to shoot three. <laughs> Minute 38 to go here, fourth quarter. Huskies down six after being down 17 at halftime. Martindale to shoot three. His first, able to get it to go. Two more big free throws here as it's gut check time under the final two minutes. Martindale second, able to get it to go. Huskies now within four. Thomas Dato will check back in for Lucas Opliger. Marshall Carter in for Brendan Vermander. Here's Martindale's third free throw. Off the mark. And that's going to be off the Huskies. It'll be Tars' ball. Huskies now down only four. And you're going to see some full court press here from the Huskies as that shot's off the mark. Forced up by DeJesus. Tantanelli at the rebound. Now it's going to be Williams. He'll find Martindale in the corner for three. Rebound, Tanton Elliott. Good rebound there. And it just goes off the shin of Jacob Williams. It'll be Tar's ball. Minute 21 to go, fourth quarter. Huskies down four. Here's Hamilton. Good uh, turnover there by Aaron Martindale as he's been forcing them all game. He'll put up a three from the corner. Not able to get it to go, but Tanton Elliott right there to put it back in. Huskies within two. Minute eight left to go for fourth quarter. Boy, what a second half this has turned out to be. Huskies really putting down the D as Aaron Martindale.
coming up with five big steals in this second half. 17 point lead is now cut down to two with just over a minute left to go here in the fourth quarter. It'll be Anchor Bay ball to inbound. You'll see the Huskies likely play man to man at full press. Here's Walker to inbound. Able to find Marshall Carter as he takes it up the wing, kicks it back over now to Jesus. He'll find O'Shea. O'Shea off the hands of Martindale again as he's been everywhere defensively for the Huskies. Helping his team chip away at this lead, and I believe Anchor Bay is going to call another timeout. Just under a minute to go, what's turned out to be a definitely an entertaining second half. Didn't look like it was going to be much of a game to start, but oh, as Brian Jamison tuned up the defense for his Huskies, and Jared Welsh. Hitting threes, getting to the line. Martindale causing turnovers. And a big, big two-point bucket by Tanton Elliott. Brings the Huskies within two. With just under a minute to go here in the fourth quarter. Keep in mind, Anchor Bay in the bonus as the Huskies have 10 team fouls. Anchor Bay only with three in the second half. I think if you're the Huskies right now, you wait about maybe 15, 20 seconds, see if you can get a turnover here before you got a foul. Is it still only a one possession game? Anchor Bay, I'd imagine, is gonna chew up as much clock as they possibly can. As it'll be Isaiah Walker for the Tars inbounding the ball. He'll kick it over for DeJesus, or DeJesus rather. Martindale on him. Marshall Carter now over to O'Shea. Back over to Carter. Makes Martindale leave his feet. No penetration though. Because the Huskies got to think about fouling now, and they do. And that foul will be on Thomas Dato, his first. That'll send Jack O'Shea to the line, six foot four senior. Tars lead this second half, then chiseled down to two. They had a 17 point lead to start the second half. Turnovers by the Tars and clutch shots made by the Huskies. Have made this a one possession okay. game as that free throw made by O'Shea will put the Tars back up three. Huskies really need a miss here. Here's O'Shea, his second. That'll not fall. Martindale the rebound. And here's Jared Welsh now. Almost lost the ball. Swiped away by Isaiah, Isaiah Walker. And now Tanton Elliott puts up a three. That's going to be off the back of the rim. Offensive board, Opliger. He'll find Welsh, top of the key. Puts a three up off the back of the rim. Martindale tried to chime the jump to get the rebound. And now the Huskies definitely have to foul with 17 seconds left to go. Got a foul here, and they do. 13 seconds exactly left to go here, fourth quarter. That'll send Isaiah Walker to the line to shoot two. First one goes. And if he makes this, it'll be a two possession game. And he does. Huskies need a quick three or a quick basket, either one. Here's Opliger, gets it across half court, finds Elliott. Got to put it up quick as time's running out. Here's Martindale, 
finds Welsh, puts up a three. That's gonna be off the backboard, and that'll do it for the end of the game. A valiant effort by the Huskies, down 17 at halftime, but they come up just short as the final score. Anchor Bay Tires 42, Port here on Northern Huskies 37. Definitely a good effort by the Huskies in that second half. Just weren't able to muster enough of a comeback. Once again, for CPHS 6, I am DJ Palm signing off here from Port Huron Northern High School. Final score, Anchor Bay 42, Huskies 37. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. Good night, and we'll see you next time.